Welcome, this is Oliver from Think Electric and I introduce Michael from Immobility Driving Solutions. And yeah, my question is, uh, how can I drive uh, in Germany 800 kilometers or more per day and uh, how can I track it convenient? Uh, have you a solution for me? Or Yes, uh, by the way, that's exactly why we are met together. Uh, we have introduced into the market a tracking device. It's a so-called Tesla Logger. We developed it together with certain project members in the Tesla Friends uh, Forum in, in Germany. Okay. Um, basically, it was intended to have an easy way without ne need to, to uh, fill out some forms or Excel sheets inside of my smartphone while I was charging. And so we introduced the Tesla Logger as a device where you can act like a uh, like the Tesla app, but you have uh, the device working. It's a, it's an energy saving computer, a Raspberry Pi, which sits uh, behind your uh, personal Fritz box or some other DSL connection you have from your private network at home. And it's acting like the Tesla application itself. So it's basically questioning the car every five seconds. Mm -hmm. And in that period, you can notify yourself about charging updates or traveling updates. And uh, the interface for the Raspberry Pi is a web server. So you can easily even transfer the data to your car on your screen to, to see the data, the wallet data, which the car currently creates on your uh, MCU inside of your Tesla. Okay, over the browser. Over the browser. Okay. And basically what, uh, in Germany there is a little racing uh, contest running, like the e-cannonball at this weekend, uh, where the people are uh, starting on Lake, Con uh, Lake uh, Bodensee and uh, are traveling to, to Berlin. We are inside of the Finnish area, we're presenting certain uh, participants on their uh, on our screens where we have the devices already configured to track the data from the cars. Uh, we can use the data as well to see how uh, how is the car operating. Mm -hmm. Basically, I have no need to explain anybody that 1000 kilometers in Germany aren't possible at all. I have valid data from my car where I showed that I could travel over one day around 1300 kilometers from Thuringia, where I where I live, uh, to the uh, to Bochum, and from Bochum again back to Berlin. We had some difficulties with the last credit card, so we had to travel backwards, as well as some uh, 150 kilometers at the same day to pick it up. But exactly that is possible. You have not to do anything additionally. It's done in the background for you. Okay. And uh, we have, uh, with the data, with the continuous data, I currently have a data storage of around 10 months of my Tesla car. Mm -hmm. So I could even generate reports out of it, like, for instance, the state of charge statistics about how often do I charge my car until it's completely full? How often do I use the car in a normal way where I simply plug it in and uh, consume only a little bit of juice? Yeah. And the same is possible as well in the opposite direction. That was basically a report which was generated only two weeks ago, which shows how often are you traveling until your battery pack is completely depleted. Okay, so okay. basically I'm showing it now with my data that uh, Oli is linking to it and or showing it in the, in the comment section. Uh, it, it's showing that I really count on my battery data which is shown on my screen because I'm usually traveling until I have only 5% left yes, yes, I see. and I usually only with family it's a little bit difficult to travel until you have only three kilometers left in your uh, in your battery that's basically a discussion you do not mm. want to experience inside of your EV <laughs> and uh, as well, a question was raised towards us. Is it possible to determine how much do I lose uh, over the period of a night when the mm. car is simply standing? 
so-called vampire drain. Yes. So we have as well as our statistics, which is basically connected as well with our other hardware device where we uh, open up the battery magic universe for people with cables, with OBD adapters. Mm -hmm. And for instance, one question was, is there a difference if the OBD plug is permanently switched on in the yeah, car? Yeah in uh, the energy consumption. So basically I have that data. So in, in June I had uh, it without any connector plugged in and it's around four euro per month, which I lost. And on the other hand, we had uh, six euro and 30 lost uh, in, in July where I have it permanently plugged into my car. So it's a little bit in, in terms of money. And for me, if you show at least in the in the so-called uh, charging statistics, it's not really important for me because uh, in the in my uh, screen it's quite easily uh, visible that I am using as a main charging point uh, the supercharger in, in Weimar because of the fact I have free supercharging. So why should I charge at home if I have uh, it's really convenient located and so I'm charging basically there but even in other directions. Mm. Mainly my interest was uh, in the in the Tesla logger to know more about the battery and an overall performance because I'm coming out of fleet perspective. I'm, uh, I was organizing a service for great installation in, on industrial level in, in Germany around 60,000 uh, reverse vending machines we had installed. So I have a brighter perspective to, to know more about the equipment. So basically what me, uh, what I question most in my EV, in my Tesla, is the uh, battery degradation, the battery That's condition. A big question, yes. Uh, so and that we track, by the way, as well. So uh -huh. it's only a side effect, but we have that data. It's valid data, and it's showing basically even for other uh, for other use cases that there is no difference in my battery condition in relation towards how I have charged. There are many discussions about is AC charging better or is DC charging some harmful charging way uh -huh. for your battery. It's in my opinion, and I can tell it honestly from my car, it's complete bullshit because there is no difference. We have a real high sophisticated battery management system and that system is operating on real high level. The only thing which is really visible here over there is as well that we have a manufacturer and the manufacturer has introduced in my car some kind of software over the air, yeah, nice feature, but uh, in that way it was really harming mm -hmm. because over that period you see there's a decrease and it's linear. So basically even a math student in the first semester, he understands what that graph is meaning. So there was a situation and after that situation something has changed, yeah. basically, point. And afterwards you see there's as well a, a change in that behavior too, so I'm already behind that uh, sea level so it's again going into a direction where I c can accept it and basically I have lost some around 30 kilometers but I see that the manufacturer is capable to reduce it and I see that it's capable to be okay. raised okay. again. So we are providing that access over our web shop. That's basically the reason we uh, want a smooth ordering pr process for, for clients as well, even for foreign clients. So there's no difference uh, in uh, ordering it from Germany or from, from US. Mm -hmm. We have as well a client in Sri Lanka without okay, okay. any help from, from Tesla as well. Okay. So uh, basically here in our shop we are... And you ship worldwide. Oh. We are shipping worldwide. Okay. Basically uh, the fees are acceptable around 20 euros. Yeah. So basically we are selling that equipment with uh, tested uh, equipment uh, on a Raspberry Pi mm -hmm. infrastructure. It's a Raspberry Pi 3B, uh, B+. Plus. Mainly what, what we see uh, as uh, the point as earlier you are starting to monitor your own car, as earlier you can access to the data. Tesla is logging that instead of you already, but they mm -hmm. never would share the data with you. So it's an invitation from us to you to even use the data in other perspectives too to show what the car is capable to do and we are intending to adopt that kind of uh, interface as well to other EVs. Jaguar is uh, already a talking partner. We have the Audi system okay. so nice. uh, nice. of the e-tron which is as well capable to be connected through an API. And so we are inviting you to as well test it personally. 
you can uh, try it uh, and you're supporting that kind of project which is still under development it's not something which is finished and that's all mm -hmm. we are providing regular updates as well for the tesla logger which are containing then reports or new kind of uh, uh, statistics we have pinned or, or tipped to to produce them and so basically it's an it's a living project which has as well some already uh, raised some interest as well from the b2p uh, b2b area and so we see there a great opportunity to make that magic of an ev transparent for people to have it as well available at home so yeah. basically i never used after introduction of the tesla logo in my family anything uh, like like glimpse mm -hmm. anymore yeah. because the data is available so yes. my my family and relatives say know how to track myself because i have given them the access mm -hmm. to, to do that okay yeah and basically it's a it's a cool project and we had already a few many comments use that comment section as yes. well down uh, below be know to to introduce what kind of question you have uh, and basically we are open to go in discussions as well with other projects mm -hmm. in the same area so basically use it as well uh, okay. as a contact uh, possibility and we are going into public because we are now seeing that the, the project is evolved uh, to a level where we can use that product we are providing access to that kind of data and we can act as well as a community uh, based on real data and not on some excel spreadsheets yeah, yeah, yeah. collected inside of the car because more, more or less i see the ev and the charging periods as well as a point where i could uh, relax at charging time and i do not have to be busy on my smartphone yes, yes. to okay. track something yeah. on the battery system okay michael thank you for the interesting insights um, support the tesla locker and yeah all links in the description and uh, thumbs up and uh, thumbs up subscribe the channel and next time we see you and think electric <laughs> bye bye, bye.